Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program. <laughs> and today we're just gonna jump right on in to my save file. It's starting to get a little crowded there, we have eight flights out now. And we're gonna put up another. Now, what I want to show you today is Duna 1. <laughs> oh my god, this, this mission is exciting but nerve-wracking. After the semi-successes of our Minmus missions that we launched, uh, especially the second mission, as that was far, far more successful than the first, I wanted to reach out even farther into the Kerbal Star System. And so, using our standard heavy lift launcher, along with this top half using a nuclear engine, rather than the standard big boys down here, what are those called? Rocco Max mainsails, all right. We are going to be using the LV-N atomic rocket motor. And I'm looking forward to seeing how this thing does. I haven't played around with these yet, but I've been told that they are the engine to go with on interplanetary missions. And then up top, we have this, the Duna One Lander. Now this thing, oh man, I, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to fare, but it is one of these Probodobodine, QPE, yeah, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> that is what is controlling the whole ship. We got a little parachute here to slow us down and some engines here, just in case it's not enough. I have no idea what landing on Duna is like. So we have some engines with small fuel tanks, we have our lander legs, and we have a small parachute. Of course, this is going to be just a stationary lander probe, so we have some scientific equipment, some antennae for communication, and I decided to make this thing a nuclear probe. So we have these, let's get over to it, the PB Nuke, <laughs> Radioisotope Thermoelectric Generator. And we've got four of them, and they are also basically serving as our struts for these small engines. I have no idea if that is strong enough. You probably shouldn't attach an engine directly to a nuclear reactor, but hey, could be fun. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this mission. I have no delusions here. I'm fairly certain that this whole mission is going to be a complete bust, but I want to see if I can do it. You know, the missions to Minmus really spurred me on, and I, I want to just plow forward and get into the Kerbin system even further. So let's... Well, I'm going to double-check the staging... Or, well, actually, no, I double-checked it before jumping on here today. So let's just go straight to the launch pad. All right, we are on the launch pad now. Let's grab our orbital information window. And of course, since this is an unmanned ship, we don't have any Kermans to wish good luck to and Godspeed and so forth. So, since the probe needs no encouragement, let's get ready for launch and go in three, two, one, and lift off. And off we go now. Ah, uh, I'm very worried about this mission. Mainly about the initial orbiting around Kerbin. Because every time we've launched the heavy lifter rocket, we've had a larger payload, and because of that, we've had to dig into this engine up here to actually get our orbit. But this nuclear engine doesn't have a whole lot of thrust to take care of that on its own when in orbit, so I'm hopefully, or hoping, rather, that these mainsail Rockomax engines have enough power to get us into orbit and actually get a circularized orbit. Because otherwise, we are going to be in a bit of trouble now. Ooh, I forgot to start my gravity turn here. Oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not like how this is rotating. This thing is being very, very squirrely today. I'm not 
very pro- Whoa, okay. Drop those. Oh god, oh god, oh. Okay, we seem to be alright. I think. Yeah, I think- I think we're okay. We're- That engine didn't blow up and taking the rest of the fuel out with it. I don't know how we survived that, honestly. I figured once I saw that explosion that it was all done. But no, we... Oh, man, I'm already over the 100 point. All right, let's... Whoa, okay. Let's circularize this thing. Oop. Okay, that's 116. Ooh, why am I moving that? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let's hit that. 100. 195, why in the... Okay, and we'll bring that side down a bit. And... Yeah, I can live with that. Oh, God. Oh, right. We are tumbling. And... Oh, man. Without... This craft is very large right now, so without any... RCS, which I probably should have attached to this thing. I can't really pitch this thing around by using its weight. This actually does need an engine going to actually do any maneuvering right now. So, okay, alright, 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 alright. Okay, come on. No, 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 no. I, I need to be at that point. Oh, man, this thing is... Ooh, man, okay, 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 come on, come on, come on. Start pitching the other way. There we go. Come on. I need to start burning soon. I just need you to get back to that little blue dot there. I really should start attaching RCS to these rockets. <laughs> every time, every time I say that I need to do it, and I always forget. Alright, I'm just going to start burning right about now. And hopefully, this is enough power to get us into a proper orbit, which I'm thinking it is. That's coming down quite quickly. And we've... we have a decent amount of fuel left. Oh, though I am a little worried. It is... It is dropping fairly quick, of course. Okay, 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 let's... Ooh, this might be cutting it pretty close here. And okay, alright. <laughs> We've got a tiny, tiny little sliver of fuel left. But nonetheless, it is fuel. So let's just take out that node and go up here to make Duna our target. Okay, that's... It's over that way, but I doubt I'm going to be able to burn to get over there in a suitable amount of time, so I actually think I might try and catch it on the other side of the burn here, so let's just go, whoa, okay, okay, okay. Alright, and let's extend that, oh, oh, okay, alright, we did get somewhat of an encounter there. Because we're getting those points. So let's... Woo, God. Oh, oh, God. Okay. Trying to move this around on here, not exactly a good idea. Let's... Whoop. Oh, okay. Alright, trying to use the maneuver nodes in this system, trying to go to other planets, is kind of a pain. So, I'm going to bring you guys back when, hopefully... I'm around Duna, though I wouldn't hold my breath. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second, hopefully. Alright, and we're back. After half of this fuel tank, and about an hour, <laughs> I made it to Duna. Oh my god, that was... 
that was a pain, because with how the maneuver nodes work, you gotta constantly be zooming in and out, in and out, and it's just uh, kind of annoying to go to another planet. But we're here, and there's Ike, the moon of Duna. And you know what? I'm just gonna get right on into it, and we are going to deorbit this baby. Now, this is. Huh. Nope, nope, I gotta go the other way. Okay. This thing's really. pitching quite slowly. It was working much faster than that earlier when I was playing around with it. Okay, whoop, 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 okay, okay, all right, all right, so I gotta have a little gas. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, let's get this thing on the retrograde point, and... Yeah, we're gonna deorbit this with the nuclear engine, and then once we begin to get closer to Duna, we will use this thing to try and slow us down a little bit, I'm thinking. Uh, who knows if that's actually going to work out how I'm wanting, but hey, <laughs> I can dream, can't I? Alright, so let's throttle this baby all the way up. And try and get ourselves into a lovely encounter with this world. I love the ice caps. That is just that is just wonderful. I, I am quite enjoying it. But yeah, let's see how this thing works. This nuclear engine definitely not great for orbital maneuvering, but man, does it sip fuel! And yeah, you really can't go to other planets without it. So hopefully this goes well. Ooh, I need to get my landing info. We've got plenty of time with how slowly that's going. So there we are. Landing. Let's move you about there. And let's try and stay on the retrograde point. That gives you a more efficient burn if you are right on that point for deorbiting. Okay, this is going well. Looks like we're probably going to land somewhere in here. Ish. Most likely. Maybe. I have no idea. <laughs> I've never landed with a nuclear engine, nor have I ever landed on Duna, so... I don't... I don't really know how this is going to play out. I'm hoping well. <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> Stay on that retrograde point. And this nuclear engine is is not great for doing a deorbiting burn like this. It's very, very slow. Uh, and I need these for the eventual descent and slowdown on landing, which uh, <laughs> if Minmus is any sign of things to come. We're probably not going to have this probe survive, but, <laughs> but you know what? It's going to be fun. I am pleased with... Well, honestly, I'm pleased with how this mission has gone so far. I'm amazed that I've even gotten to Duna. <laughs> it was quite interesting. I had to do several burns in flight to actually get to a half-decent encounter. Let's stop it there. Throttle up a bit and chase the retrograde point. Give it a little bit more. And let's get right back on it. I want to be as vertical as possible. That looks good. I like it. Okay. <laughs> now for our inevitable fall. And hopefully survival. Maybe. 
Probably not. But yeah, I sincerely doubt that this nuclear engine is actually going to do much to decelerate us as we plummet towards the planet. But you know what? Any extra bit of oomph that we can get for this landing, I will take. So let's just speed it up here and probably back to normal. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> uh, things kind of jumped on me there. That scared me. Let's keep it going. All right, all right, all right. Let's start firing this thing up because we are falling at nearly a kilometer a second. Which I don't like. <laughs> oh, man. All right, yeah, it is definitely slowing us a bit, but... Well, actually, more than I thought it would. Honestly. I'm kind of surprised it is doing as much as it is, but it definitely isn't going to... have us survive the impact of just on that engine. And actually, probably once we get to about 15 kilometers, I'm just going to cut that engine, drop that section away, and then hopefully open the chute, and then rely on these rockets to get us down the rest of the way. I'm just hoping that this slows us down enough so that it is survivable. And I just saw a little flash on the train over there somewhere. Okay, so that might be something that way that could be interesting. But this is a stationary platform, so... You know, it's not really gonna help us. Alright, we are at 10 kilometers. Let's drop this baby. Ooh, okay, shoot opened. Oh wow, okay, we are, we are falling quickly. We are falling very quickly. The chute does appear to be doing something. Okay, wow, okay, okay, the chute opens at about 3,000 meters here. Wow, that's surprising. And we are floating down to the surface? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna bring the engines up a little bit just to try and slow us down a bit more. Is that parachute? Though providing us with a lot of lovely drag, it definitely is not going to get us to the speed that I would like for us to land at. So let's... okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you definitely need a little bit of engine power. Oh god, the engines... or not the engine, the parachute's gone. Oh, oh jeez. Oh man, alright, this is... Ah, uh, okay, okay, we're going up and down, up and down. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, we landed. Oh, and I forgot to put these to an action group. So let's open up these antennae. And oh my god, we actually have a stationary laboratory probe on Duna. All right, let's turn on all the science equipment as well. I really should have put all these onto an action group. But oh well! <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I did that on the first try. <laughs> but, but we did! We did! We are on Duna. With a stationary probe, we are collecting wonderful science. There is the barometer, accelerometer, thermometer, and the grav gravioli detector. <laughs> I never noticed that, that was his name. I just always call it the, the grav sensor. But yes, we are here, successfully. I'm, I'm shocked and amazed. I kind of figured we would die. But yeah, that's good to note for future missions. The parachute kind of gave way <laughs> at about, uh, I think it was like 150 meters up. So yeah, that's good to remember for the future. So we don't die, <laughs> especially for a manned mission. Wow, but let's quick save there. I am ecstatic that we made it here. We have finally made it to another planetary body in the Kerbin system, and I couldn't be happier. So, 
I do hope that all of you have enjoyed this episode, and that you come back for the next. And as always, have a good one.